Honestly, I prefer this type of animation over animation with any rendering engine. Not always, but most of the time. We will be creating an interior animation for this video, but this technique can also be applied to exterior project. To start first, we need to go to one of these floor plans or this side plan. Let's go to this side plan. I have hide the ceiling and also some other annotation that i had in here so we can create the camera easier to create the camera or to create the walkthrough you need to click on this part and with this walkthrough option we are going to set the cameras so i'm going to create like four cameras in here first one is going to be in here next one in this part the third one in here and the last one is going to be in this part and now we can hit finish button. Next step is to create some other views so we can control this camera. For that, we need to open the walkthrough view itself. So if you scroll down in this part, you can see this option in here and you can open it. Right now we can't see anything. However, if I change it, we might see some information like this which we don't need right now and the other view that we need is one of these elevation it doesn't matter which one just select one of them and open it let me also put it on fine and consistent color now i want to see all of them next to each other so i'm going to delete this 2d view because we don't need it and then with this view tab i'm going to click on this tile view so we can see all of them next to each other like this now to set the camera to modify it you need to go to this walkthrough view and then you need to select this crop region then we are going to click on this edit walkthrough and in this part we have a little option so we can control this camera much better in the option bar i'm going to go to the first frame so we go to the first keyframe right now you can see that this first camera is active then if you click on this side view, it will give you some options to control the target and also to control the camera itself. Now that we are in here, I'm going to select this point. This is the target of the camera and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to uh, put it pointed exactly to my scene wherever I want to see more details. And then I'm going to leave it like that. Then if you want to change the placement of the camera, right now we were in active camera. So this is for controlling the target of the camera. If you want to control the path or the placement of the camera itself, the elevation of the camera, you need to switch this to path. And then you need to either click on this part and then you see that we have these points in here. You can like control the camera with these points or if you click on this elevation you can control the placement of this camera i'm going to move it down to this part like this now it is much better we can see a lot of details in here then if you also want to like change the target of the camera while you are in here you can do it again you just need to go to active camera and then you can like set it exactly wherever you want then if you want to go to the next view you need to click on this edit walkthrough and then click on this next keyframe not next frame but the next keyframe if you want to like select the next camera i'm going to click on this part and now we are in the second camera if you active this side view with only a click you can again move this target toward your scene like this so you can see more things in this part you can see a preview of that frame exactly in this part so i'm going to also change the placement of this target i'm going to tilt it down because i don't want to see all of these empty parts in here for that i need to click on this elevation and with this part i'm going to tilt it down and for the path or the placement of the camera because i want also to move this one down to here probably i'm going to use this path and also if you want to change its placement you can use this part in the side view and exactly like this you can set all of these and cameras and keyframes and targets to go to the next camera i'm going to click on this next keyframe 
and then I'm going to like change this one change the path then move it down to here or change its placement from this part and then I'm going to change it to active camera select the camera and then change the placement of its target to this part and also I am going to move it down like this i think it's good and then the last keyframe i'm going to go with the same path so first i'm going to change its path let's move it down also in this part i'm going to move it to here and then to active camera click on this part first let me go to side select the camera and move it to here it's just exactly like this you need to set all of these parts separately until you get the best result now that we are okay with all of these views and all of these settings i'm going to close all of these views and then in this walkthrough view i can change the size of this crop region with this part or just manually in this part i'm going to go back to the first frame i'm going to go to each one of these keyframes and i will find the best placement for all of these parts so i can see my uh, animation much better let's go to the next frame i think it's okay in this part the next frame good enough and the last part i probably need to like move it up to some place like this or something like this and let's go back check it one more time i think it's good okay now that everything is okay you can click on this play and enjoy the walkthrough animation you just created This is perfect. You see how fast and easy it was? If you want to download this project, there is a link in description where you can check. Or if you want to learn how you can model it yourself, you can watch these two videos in here.